Congratulations, Andy, on your latest machine purchase. But this isn't what Swarf & Chips is about this week. This is a little bit like we're quizzing you on the company. So what is it that LBBC Beachwood specialise in? Okay, we're a subcontract engineering service provider and we manufacture pressure vessels, we manufacture heavy engineered parts, and we manufacture dish tens and specialist fabrications as well. Well, some of the machines you're going to be seeing a little bit later on because Rowan is actually going to take you on a fabulous tour. Now, some of the machines you've got, this is your latest purchase, this is new CNC, but a lot of what you've got is manual. Why is that then? Is it the size of the components? Yeah, we do a lot of real heavy uh, engineered parts, in particular for the marine industry. So it is very traditional uh, uh, equipment. Some of it's 50 or 60 year old, but the engineering uh, skills that we have here are fantastic as is the maintenance team that we have and it suits our purpose but we do recognise we're never going to be able to continue with that type of equipment for, for ad infinitum and hence we've invested in CNC equipment which is clearly far more productive. So are you seeing a transition now going across to CNC? Yeah, uh, absolutely so. We, we, we need to be invested in CNC equipment. Uh, for a Why number, is that? Yeah. Uh, well, for a number of reasons. First of all, it is far more productive. We have to be competitive. But also, it's very difficult now to recruit staff to operate the, the old manual machines. Brilliant engineering, but it's a dying trade, very difficult to recruit. And it's a lot easier to recruit uh, a trainee apprentice, take them through the four-year apprenticeship, etc., on this type of equipment. Youngsters aren't interested in the old gear, but they are interested in the new technology that's available. Well, we're here in Pudsey, and we often find that the more north we go, the larger the machines are. Is that right? It could well be, a, yeah, absolutely so. I mean, clearly the land is a little bit cheaper and we have the space to expand, etc. And we find that a lot of our employees, their fathers have worked for this industry. In fact, the business was established in the 1880s and it's now managed by the fifth generation. So the Picard family are still here today. Howard and Robert still manage the business. So they've, they've been in it all their lives and their, their parents and grandparents have. Of course, it's so interesting. There's a lot of history here and you can you can really feel that. I want to make a side note that there are large machines down south as well. Anyway, <laughs> let's take you on a tour around this wonderful engineering facility. So Dave, we're here at the engineering facility at LBBC Beechwood. Now we're in front of one of your Webster Bennett vertical borers. Yeah, you've, yeah. Had one of the, you've had these machines for a long time, is that right? Yeah, a long, long time, yeah. These have been here uh, for over 25 years. 25 years. It's amazing. So, it's amazing yeah. the old engineering machines you've got here still. Yeah. Let's, let's walk down the shop. Yeah, sure. Let's have a look what you've got. So we've got some standard manual machines just behind us here. Yep. But I think the actually the impressive the impressive part of this shop, this facility here, is definitely the big vertical borers and the massive parts that you're yep. making on them. Tell That's, me a little bit about these parts, please. These are uh, ship's dampers or parts of uh, ship's dampers. They're using the uh, propulsion or system of... Uh, big ships basically we've been doing these for um, well probably 20 years same so this company is a contract you've had for a long it, yes, time yes absolutely and that's why you've got these these three vertical boring machines yeah. and i guess this is where you do your facing off the turning down yeah yeah all our sort of proof machining finish machining it's done on all these machines uh, days and nights uh, to keep up with customer uh, requirements. Yeah. yeah. And what, what's this part here? Well, these are massive parts. What, yeah. what is this? These uh, are castings. They look like they're from the water industry, possibly a, 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 from a company we've used for a lot of years. So there's some kind of pump housing, which yeah. I guess is coming in for a re refurbish. A refurbishment. Yeah, so if you follow me, Dave, yeah. let's, let's keep going down the workshop. So, and then we've got. Uh, now, I've seen a few of these at RK International. It's a radial arm drill. Yeah. I had no idea one of these even existed until about a month ago. Yeah. But here's one being used right now to, to drill, I guess, some radial holes in. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so they're all marked off by the operator, and then we've got numerous holes to put in those um, before they move on to the next stage. Yeah. Yeah, so it's amazing the size of the parts yeah. that you guys make here. Let's, yeah. let's keep going through the machine shop. Now we've got. Uh, a, a ring that's coming out. This yeah, looks like a forged, forged ring. I yeah. mean, look at that. It's, it's absolutely huge. Forged ring, yeah. That's yeah. coming for a actual uh, new job we've got just at the moment, a new project that's starting up. So that's one of the main parts of the uh, door system. So how many different companies, how many different products do you come in or different designs do you get through coming through the door asking what you can make? Many different uh, companies, uh, new and old, really. It's 
all sorts of different industries uh, we, I mean, we're involved in. So you've also so you've got three different bays here. We've just been yep. through the machine shop. Yep. This is what bay is this now? This is the fabrication department. This right. is from end to end here. So from end to end, what, what what what's this machine up here? This machine is a sub arc welding machine, and that's used for automated welding on pressure vessels. Oh my! So look at that. So we've got this big pressure vessel here, which is on rollers. So this means you can do longitudinal and yes. And uh, and the welds. same here. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it. look at look at the size of that weld. That is absolutely yeah. massive, isn't it? That's fantastic. Yeah, and these are all hundred percent uh, radiography checked. So you're checking for, for defects, defects. For, for cracks, yep. is that for crack length and crack width? And All that sort of thing, yeah, in accordance with codes. So a lot of our, so our viewers will probably not see this kind of, this side to industry, because they're looking at kind of probably yeah. cleaner CNC shops. This is proper heavy industry we're looking at here. Yep, this I is. Mean, just the size of the cranes go to show the size of parts that you guys are making. Yeah, we can, Actually, lift, so we can lift some heavy things in here up to 20 tons. Yeah, exactly. So this is for mostly for the pressure vessels. Now, what are the pressure vessels used for? Pressure vessels are used in many industries from oil and gas through to uh, subsea and uh, decompression systems, which we've, we work with many different companies nice. uh, so throughout the UK. So they're so they're pretty pretty a universal uh, product that, that I guess yeah would, that, that uh, are used in and is there any product that you might be using you might fly in a plane they they are used for the the, the yeah, wax moldings in absolutely turbine aerospace blades. we're into we've got many fingers in lots of pies let's put it that way yeah I mean it looks like it yeah they're very big pies though aren't they yes yeah so we've also got dished ends now what is a dished end when I first heard this I had absolutely no idea what it was well dished ends obviously we use these on. Uh, all our um, pressure vessel kit and they're actually formed in a, another department which we're just walking into over here. So this is the dished end department yes. right here. Dished We've been ends. through fabrication now. That's right. So, so dished end, what, what is that? So dished ends, we manufacture dished ends for a lot of subcontract operations and also for LBBC. Uh, okay. Yeah, so let's go down to the end. Yeah. What's this huge machine? Is this a Baldrini machine? Yeah, this is an old machine, this. Right? Yes, it is. That is where the process starts of uh, forming the uh, spherical radius of the dished head. So lots of tons of pressure. So brute force, really, into the into the shape it yeah, initially I think Andy needs. was saying it's about 200 tons of pressure yeah, in this thing, which is right. absolutely massive. Yeah. So your round blanks come in. They come in flat. This is like some die, some some die mold, die on the end of it, which will yeah. uh, turn turn that that flat uh, blank into a spherical shape. That's correct, yeah. Once they go from the spherical shape, they will then get put into these things. Is that yeah. correct? These are the uh, dish end machines now, which form the knuckle radius of the dish, and also put a machine prep on. Right, so so we've got a that's dish. That's not here. a good example. No, that's, it's not because it's yeah, got it's got, got, uh, got some kind of. Yeah. some kind of corrosion on the end of it so, so instead we've got a dished end here yeah which is so what this is the, this is the part we're looking at so yeah. can you explain the spherical and the, and the knuckle so basically the, this uh, radius here is formed on the uh, the press at the bottom end of the workshop and then this this sort of area of the um, dish is formed on these machines up here and uh, these roller machines are absolutely incredible. I mean, look at the size of those. Yeah. And but the different kind of tooling as well. I didn't realise. I thought it might just be one size fits all, but there's loads of different kind of tools that you'll be send around the size. That's of right. Parts yeah. Absolutely. They're for different kinds of forms. Yes. Different uh, knuckle radiuses, basically. That's what they're for. And I guess those are for different kinds of pressure vessels or for different standards. Yeah. Different shapes, sizes. We do carbon steel. We've got stainless steel over here. Right, so I guess you've got, and you also you've got a different stainless steel workshop. Yes, we have. We've got a segregated stainless steel workshop for the fabrication um, department, which uh, we've sort of uh, put together over the last sort of five years, basically, and it's a good selling point for LVBC. So, Andy, we've seen the machining workshop, been through fabrication, yes. dished end forming. This is now, we're here in front of the Ki Hyung U1200N. This is the new CNC investment by LBBC. Yes, yes, it is. This is the way I guess the, the industry is going. Yeah. Um, and we've actually, we've done two videos on this machine, so check those out to find out more about the machine uh, behind me. But before, we're, uh, we're just going to talk about the, the, dank, the axle dampers here. Yeah. These are absolutely massive parts. You've been doing these actually for a long time. What, what are they? They are uh, parts of the ship's dampers for the uh, ship's uh, propulsion system. So right. they take the inertia out of the engines when they speed up and sort of slow down. So these goes in, these go in line between the, yeah. the engine and the propeller. That's right. Which yeah. you can imagine how big the propeller large. axle must be, <laughs> yeah. let alone how big the bloody propeller must be. Yes, if you absolutely. Can excuse yeah. my French. Yes. 
It's an absolutely fantastic little little, one, little part, big part here. I guess uh, they're kind of like hollow, hollow round rings, aren't they? The, like yeah, they, they come in as a solid uh, forging and then we machine them all up uh, so to that stage, they'll, yeah. They'll come in, it's quite a raw forging. And then yeah. you actually, you clean up the faces, put all these holes in, like the radial arm joints, the vertical borers. Absolutely. This is some real heavy industry. Yeah, absolutely. And then they get fully tested on site, as you can see there, that one's under test, I think, at the minute, yeah. That's fantastic. Thank you very much, Dave. No That's problem. proper heavy industry at LBBC. What a wonderful facility that you've got here and a fantastic machine. What does the future hold for you then at LBBC Beechwood? The future for us is about growth, about growing, being particularly the third party side of the business. Um, so growing the fabrication and the, and, the, uh, and the machine in here. It's about investing in our future. Um, it's about creating a culture of continuous improvement and we've got a great team here who are coming along, they're helping us def define what the future is for us and there's a great team of managers, young managers developing, who will be the leaders of the business in the future. And I think you're going to be investing in machines as well. Yeah, absolutely. So this, now we've started the investment, the investment journey's just begun. We'll be, we'll be investing for many, many years in the equipment and the facilities as well, but more importantly, in the people.